Hello folks, welcome to Jerome Bee Farm and Homestead. Stand over here in the shade because man, it is some kind of hot today. It's uh, getting close to 100 degrees and there's not a whole lot of breeze. This, I'm down here by the old barn. This project's going to be, uh, I'm going to put uh, solar power in this old barn uh, so I can get some light in there. A lot of times I'll be working on the beehives in the evening and it's a long dusk time and I'll go in there to get something and I can't see a thing and I'm feeling around and it's just not good. So it's about 400 plus feet to the nearest power source. So there's no need in running a, a power cord down here. So I can do it with this little uh, solar panel here. This is a 25 watt solar panel. It's made by New Power, N-E-W-P-O-W-A, model NPA 25-12M. It's 25 watts. I'm going to show you how I rig this up in the old barn and get some lights in there. So let's get started. Before I get started, let me show you the back of this solar panel, how I rigged it up. I got some little uh, pieces of angled aluminum and just screwed them on there. It's got an aluminum frame, so I just use these screws here to screw this on. And I pre-drilled me some holes, and I got some screws. I'm going to climb up on that. Well, I probably won't climb very high. I'm going to go up on the roof of that old barn. Right there on the corner, it's in the sunlight most of the time. Uh, that actually faces sort of the east, but uh, I'm not going to be pulling much power off of this, so... It's okay that it's not going to face south. It's going to get enough power to keep a small battery charge for no more than I'm going to use lights in this building. So I'm going to get over there and I'm going to install this uh, panel there on the roof. With a rickety old ladder. <laughs> Hope it doesn't fall apart any more than it already is. This is a poor man's hammer drill watch. Oops. I hammered it too hard. at it looks pretty good cord's nice and free there the screws are gonna hold it in it's nice and solid it ain't going anywhere
Okay, we're in here in the old barn and built this little shelf here to set my battery on to hold it and also mount my uh, charge controller right here. So what we have is a HQST, uh, it's a Rose brand, R-O-H-S, a 30 amp PWN smart uh, solar controller. Give you a shot of the barcode there. And I picked this up on Amazon, so you can see what type it is. Rose ISO. So I bought two of these when I bought them, and the uh, one's inside the off-grid mobile chicken coop. It's 12, 24 volts. It'll do either one. Give you a shot of what it looks like. Oh, that backlight's kind of bad. It, anyway, it's got a, a LCD display, and here's the model number. Focus HP two. There you go. And that's uh, that's what we'll be using for this project. So on the bottom here is where your wires go in and your screw that clamps down the wires up here. And it's marked clearly what's what. There's a night light, battery, and solar panel. So you want to leave enough room at the bottom for your wires to come in. So I want to mount it as high as I can. Yeah, that'll work better. So now I need to bring my wires over here, set my battery up, mount my lights, and run wires to all the lights. So these are the wires coming from the solar panel. So it's marked real plain here on the front. So plus and minus. I'm using red for positive and uh, black for negative. No readings yet. I gotta get the battery connected. Just a leftover lawnmower battery I've got. So now I'm going to run two wires over to these two terminals. Okay, I put me a uh, inline fuse holder on here for an automotive fuse, and the wire is just a little bit too short, so I got to crimp on a little piece of wire here. Lighting is not good in here. That's why I'm putting lights in. Okay, this one's ready to go in the positive. I need to make me a negative wire. Okay, now I just need my fuse and I should get a read out here. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see what we got here. Looks like we got us a reading. 12.1 volts. Yeah, 
Okay, you can see the display there. We're getting 12.2 uh, volts on the battery. You can see right here, the little indicator on that arrow shows it's charging the battery. There's nothing in this other arrow because we don't have our night light connected. And I'm not sure how that night light function works. but uh, So you can push this button here and it flips through the settings. So 12.7 volts is coming from the solar panel and it says zero amps is going from the panel to the battery. So my battery may not be charging. I may not have a good battery and I may have too much distance between my panel. I'm not sure what that means. 55% uh, charged, 12.2 volts, uh, nothing's going to the nightlight because it's not connected, zero amp hours from the panel to the battery. It may be so low it's just not detecting it. But we'll see what's going on here. 34 degrees Celsius, 16, not sure what that means. EO, that's some setting. So anyway, uh, looks like it's connected correctly and the battery is charging. I only have 12.5 volts coming from my panel though. I should probably have more than that and I think that's because I have such a long uh, distance between the panel and my controller here. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see if this will work. Okay, if you haven't figured out, this uh, project's taken several days, so my shirt keeps changing colors. Because I do change my shirt, you know, at least twice a week, something like that. So, got our just a regular AC switch, and I have my 12 volts coming in and my 12 volts going out, and I've got my lights mounted, which I'll show you that in a little bit. But, uh, Gonna get these wires here connected. So there's no ground wire because this is direct current. So this is uh, Thomas Edison's way of wiring things up versus uh, Nikolai Tesla. So if you're wondering who won that battle what kind of current do you have in your house? Alternating current. The problem with direct current is when you run your transmission lines several miles, several hundred feet, you uh, there's a lot of loss in that. Voltage-wise, with AC, your voltage seems uh, tends to hold better and travel across you know hundreds of miles. Okay. Put this plate on here. So no one gets electrocuted with 12 volts. Which is possible, by the way. All right. fancy barn door. So just a real quick tour of the way it's uh, hooked up. Got my 12 volts in and out there so that's all positive line right there. And I've got lights. I got uh, four on this wall inside this barn right there and over there. And then I've got one right up here so there's a shot with them on so you can kind of see where they're at, the association to everything. And I've got over here, there's three on this side, 
in here where the uh, off-grid water wagon is and my sprayer there then around here on the inside of the barn I've got three in here you can't see that third one because of the ladder over there but uh, really lights it up good so I'll give you a shot here uh, after it gets dark so you can see how well it lights it up one two three Hey, what do you think? Pretty bright. We got four in here, one right above me. Inside the barn, there's three, and over on the other side, there's three. Give you a shot in there, real quick. Here's inside the barn, all lit up nicely. So I can see all my junk now in the dark. And back over here on the side. It's not quite as bright over here. There's only three. But that's way better than it was. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. And uh, if you did, uh, give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. So I'm Darren. I'm Hayden. And catch you on the next video. Take care. Straight like you did. Victory! Go. <laughs> Whoa!